Shanti. Ishan this case, Pranad. Respondent in this case. Husband petition, Malad. Challenging the orders of the trial court. Wherein Malad, an application filed by the husband, who is the petition before the trial court is dismissed. The application, Malad, sought for a direction to the respondent to undergo for a medical test, proving herself that she is an impotent. Because Malad, the petition is filed under section 12 of 1. Saying that Malad, she is an impotent. The decree of that is, allowed. That, is, that is not allowed. The original petition is filed before the trial court. For the husband Malad. Yes. He filed a petition under section 12 1 Malad. Yes. Seeking, seeking for a decree marriage. of Malad, nullity of marriage. Uh -huh. On the ground that Malad, the respondent is an impotent. Uh -huh. During the pendency of the proceedings, Malad, he filed an application seeking for a direction, direct the wife, respondent, to undergo for a medical test to prove that Malad, she is capable to get married. Mm. That was came to be rejected, Malad. How there this are... memo is moved? What is urgency for the Malad? He Malad got married in the year of 2015. Matter Matter Malad was led before the trial court for nine years. She has filed Malad against me a domestic violence. She has also prosecuted me under 498. Because you also filed this petition of 2023. Malad, the application itself is rejected in the Malad 2023. We will pass orders. Please come to the order. Rashid, may kindly see. Yes. Now that uh, you will say that she is uh, important. Please, Malad. And you will send her to the medical test. And basing on that medical test, you will prove. Please, Malad. Yes. Please come to the order. Rashid, may kindly see. Hmm. The petition of Malad is an husband. Order impugned. Where is it? Please, Malad. Order Malad impugned. Annexure E-Malad 22 2023, page number 55 to 71, Malad. 71. The finding Malad is Malad available in page number 70, para number 15, Malad. Only one para Malad that is the finding. Yes. Worship may kindly see. I just pass on through judgment. Take that. Yes. Request your Lordship to yes. go to first judgment, my Lord. It is very clear, my Lord, from the Supreme Court. It is held 2003 4 Supreme Court. Para of 2003 judgment. Please, my Lord. Charada Dharmapal. Please, my Lord. Para number 76 million. Para 76. Please. Married me? Yes. Page number running, page number 31 million. Yes. The matter may be considered from another angle. In all such matrimonial cases where divorce is sought, say on the ground of impotency, schizophrenia, etc., normally without there being any medical examination, it would be difficult to arrive at a conclusion as to whether the allegation made by a spouse against the other spouse seeking divorce on such a ground is correct or not. In order to substantiate such allegation, the petitioner would always insist on medical examination. If the present, if the, if the respondent avoids such medical examination on the ground that it violates his or her right to privacy or for that matter, for that matter, matter, right to personal liberty as enriched under Article 21 of the Constitution of India, then it may, it may in most of such cases become impossible to arrive at a conclusion. It may render the very grounds on which divorce is permissible negatory. Therefore, when there is no right to privacy specifically confirmed by Article 21 of the Constitution of India and with extensive interpretation of the fair's personal liberty, this right has been read into Article 21. It cannot be treated as an absolute right. What is emphasized is that some limitations on the right have to be imposed and particularly where two competing interests clash in matters of the aforesaid nature where the legislature has conferred a right upon his spouse to seek divorce on such grounds. Please come to para 78. 78, Malad. It is, however, axiomatic that a court shall not order a roving inquiry. It must have sufficient materials before it to enable it to exercise its discretion. Exercise of such discretion would be subject to the supervisor jurisdiction of the High Court in terms of Section 115 of the Code of Civil Procedure and Article 227 of the Constitution of India. 
abuse of the discretionary power at the hands of a court is not expected. The court must arrive at a finding that the applicant has established a strong prima facie case before passing such an order. In this matter, Milad, there is no cohabitation at all. Since from the beginning, Milad, the respondent Milad not even allowed to take the respondent. The petitioner not even touched her. There is no ceremony. Even the ceremony is conducted, she was refused. Yes, sir. From the since from the beginning. The, Milad, the entire pleadings of the petition is very clear. That is the reason, Milad. That is the reason the petition, Milad, instituted for seeking for a decree of nullity for not di not divorce. Yes, next. Next, Milad. Next, Pera, Milad. Palani Swami. I've the judgment. I've read the judgment. Next. I may request. 70? The next, Pera, Milad. Yes. The next, Pera. Yes. And the very same judgment. If despite an order passed by the court, a person refuses to submit himself to such medical examination, a strong case for drawing an adverse inference would be made out. Section 114 of Indian Evidence Act also enables the court. So First is you should make out a prima facie case. Please, Pula. Court should be satisfied Please, by Pula. exercising the jurisdiction of 115 or 227 Please, that you have made out a case. Please, Pula. Then the court will order for that. If Please, the Pula. other person refuses it, Please. then the question of adverse Please, inference. Pula. So now the whole question is, have you passed on those steps? Please, Pula. The question, at what time you have filed this application? This application Did, is being filed? Yes, you file your case. And immediately you file an application. Is it a case that there is a the, you have already made out a prima facie case? Lord, when a, no. When a petition is being filed under Section Twelve, my lord, for seeking for nullity of marriage, my lord. So unless, every, lord, every person unless there is a my lord, medical evidence, my lord, I can't prove my lord she is important because my lord, it is an arranged marriage. She is also stranger. My lord, marriage has taken place in the year of two thousand fifteen itself. Yes. My lord, there is no cohabitation at all, at all between the parties, my lord. How my lord? Under what material, my lord, court can expect me to produce my lord before the court to demonstrate that my lord, she is important or not important, my lord. Only my lord, by way of medical evidence, it can be my lord, examined. Yes. Next matter, my lord. Palani Swami, which para? My lord, this Palani Swami judgment, my lord, I have produced only for the reason, my lord, uh, at the, before the trial court, they have, my lord, raised an objection saying that, my lord, there is no provision, my lord, seeking for a medical examination. And there is an error in the provision. That is the only reason that I have produced that. Even that the error that can be neglected. Right. That, that is, is the only right. reason. Yes. Next judgment. Next judgment, my lord. Zahida Begum. Zahida Begum. Mm. Para number 3, 4 and 5, my lord. Married, my lord? Yes. Page number 48, running page 48, my lord. Yes. I have been taken through the impugned order with the assistance of the learned counsel opinion for the petitioner. It is no doubt, true, no doubt true that directing either of the parties to undergo medical test in the circumstances is certainly warranted. The question is whether the defendant should be subjected to medical test or the plaintiff also should be subjected to identical test. It is to be noted that the specific case made out by the plaintiff petitioner is that the marriage could not be consummated as the defendant respondent was impotent and he was unable to perform the matrimonial obligations in the circumstances. The question whether the plaintiff petition is virgin or is not a wholly unnecessary. In the circumstances, the learned trial judge could not have directed the plaintiff petitioner to undergo virginity test at the hands of the so-and-so. The question whether the right of privacy is invaded in the matrimonial case where the parties are subjected to medical test has those been... Judgments are, uh, those judgments are referred to in this. The earlier judgments are referred to. Sharada's case and all. Even in the order, it has been reflected. All these judgments have been... In this judgment. Not the para number 5 is very clear in this order. The order directing the defendant respondent to undergo medical test at the hands of the heads of so-and-so Kim's Hubli regarding potency is maintained. The order directed plaintiff petitioner to undergo virginity test is on so-and-so is set aside. It yes. is permissible. Yes. Next, next, my lord. Shiva Dayal. Yes. Not Shiva Dayal. Next is Madhya Pradesh High Court judgment. Please, my lord. Shiva Dayal. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, my lord. Shantabai. Shantabai, Shantabai my lord. Uh -huh. That is Milad, page number, running page number 53, para number 6, Milad. Hmm. On the bottom, last two lines. Yes. Whether it is found that after a reasonable time of marriage, there could be no no copulation in spite of opportunity. Are you reading uh, para 6 or para 8? 6, Milad. It starts with uh, Srimadhi Shanti Bhai. And the last two lines, Milad. After one month, she went back to her matrimonial home. The basis on which that is para number 5, Milad. Para number? That is in para number 10. Out of that 
point number 6 in the last line 53 last two lines the so finding is at para number 11 please my lord applying these tests to the present case before that my lord i would like to read my lord that point number 6 in page number 53 bottom of the two lines right side corner hmm last my lord 6 in bracket running page number 53 my lord hmm on the bottom right side last two lines hmm married my lord whether it is found that after reasonable time of marriage there could be no copulation in spite of opportunities because the other party refused to intercourse and resisted all attempts by the husband without just cause the court would be right to conclude that the refusal arose from the incapacity to consummate the marriage i'm not able to find where are you reading are you reading this judgment of uh, madhya pradesh ar 1966 madhya pradesh please my lord that is my lord parents are very clear why this confusion my lord para number 10 my lord Page number twelve, fifty three, ten. Legal position on impotency is the two the legal position impotency is. Huh? In the very same para, last bottom second line from the bottom. Whether it is found that after please reasonable, ma'am, please, yes, please, please, please. No, Whether if you is, say six in ten point ten, the para number ten. Point number six understand. in para number ten, my lord. Yes. yes. Whether it is found that after a reasonable time of marriage, there could be no, no. capulation in spite of opportunities because the other party refused to intercourse and resisted all attempts by the husband without just cause the court would be right to conclude that the refusal arose from the incapacity to consummate the marriage applying this 11 my lord i am reading 11 yes applying this test to the present case in having given our anxious consideration to all the facts and circumstances we have come to the conclusion that although the appellant is not structurally or psychologically incapable of following sexual intercourse generally yet she has an inter- uncontrollable aversion to allowing the courts to the petition husband this case belongs to a r- rare variety of frigidity quad hang and we further find that such un- unconquerable aversion to the consummation of marriage existed at the time of marriage and has been in existence continuously we are satisfied that his proceedings have been free from collusion the parties appeared bef- before us no, once over- you, ha- you have a judgment of the apex court Then please. why do you want to rely on the judgment? Please, my lord. Yes. All the judgments are following the very same, my lord. Hmm. My lord, my respectful submission before the Samal Court is, is, is my lord. My lord, she was with me for very particular period of very short period. My lord, she never allowed me to touch her. And my lord, there is no cohabitation between the parties, my lord, according to me in my petition aversion. My lord, when such being the case, my lord, the husband cannot be expected to demonstrate or produce any document, prima facie document before the court to show that. My lord, she is... important unless my lord there is a medical examination my lord uh, by way of my lord uh, order of the court my lord i can't demonstrate before the court that is my grievance my lord my lord the petition has been filed on 41 2016 my 41 2016 is it 58 2016 41 2016 was it that is after 6 uh, months of marriage marriage hmm. so They had issued a notice to me on twenty six twelve two thousand fifteen. Twenty six twelve two thousand fifteen. Within eight nine days, they filed the petition without even waiting for my reply to uh, reply the notice. Hmm. They they filed the petition. Subsequently, the first week of uh, January two thousand sixteen, I filed the uh, uh, this uh, reply notice. We issued the reply notice to their notice, which is dated twenty six twelve two thousand fifteen. Reply is when? So first week of January two thousand sixteen. By that time, what is the date? Ah, uh, it is a seventh month, seven one two thousand sixteen. Ah, they had filed the petition on four one two thousand sixteen itself. No, my lord, the marriage has happened on uh, taken place on eleven six two thousand fifteen, my lord. Fifteen, eleven six two thousand fifteen. The first and nuptial ceremony has happened on twenty eleven two thousand fifteen. Twenty eleven two thousand fifteen. So subsequently, they started to live together my, as husband and wife. For my submission, sir, man, the marriage has been consummated. First submission. The second submission is that my lord, this uh, petitioner wanted a, a, a divorce, man. Since as per act is not, is a, there is a uh, embargo that within one year you can't file petition. They filed this uh, uh, petition for n- nullity of the marriage. So can you come to para eight of the petition, man, which is at ink page number thirty. Sorry, page twenty-one, man. Para eight of the petition before the trial court. Hmm. We permit to read this one, man. Yes. The petition further submits 
Yes. That during her stay at uh, his residence, the respondent on 5 12 2015 has taken to gynecologist Dr. Lata at Pragati Clinic, which is situated at Chikka Alasandra, Bangalore, for consultation. Even to the even the even to the aforementioned doctor also, the respondent has not allowed her to test and to make preliminary inquiries. The doctor expressed that some counseling is necessary and detailed examination is required from the reputed doctors to test the maturity or otherwise health condition of the respondent. Now, kindly come to phase 30, objection statement which, have, which the respondent has filed before the trial court. Para number 11, be permitted to read this particular para in that one, uh, there's contrary around the, after eight lines in the middle of the paragraph. Contrary to the above, the petitioner had forcibly by misleading and manhandling the respondent without any intimation to her parents or to anyone had taken to the said doctor who is not a gynecologist, but is just a physician without any specialization. And the said doctor tried to make physical examination against the wishes of the respondent as regards to her bodily composition or her femininity. And the said doctor forcibly conducted the examinations and had declared that the respondent is hale and healthy and has no health issues and her femininity and body composition is normal as like any other woman. And the said doctor had never prescribed any medicine or counseling or further examination as alleged. They were clearly de demonstrated the sadistic attitude, nature and character of the petitioner towards the respondent. Malad, there is a document in his custody, Malad. Till date, he has not produced the document and has not laid the evidence. He has to prima facie prove his case. Until unless that is proved, this application is premature and it cannot be considered. Please come. Agreed with the orders passed in I number four in MC number 56 of 2016, dated by so and so, but dated 2nd February 2023. The husband is before this court. The husband had filed P number 56 of 2016. Seeking, uh, seeking to declare the marriage as nullity as the response as a wife is not a competent person to consummate the marriage as per the averments of the petition that is filed seeking nullity, uh, uh, seeking to declare the marriage as nullity it is a case that the marriage ha marriage has taken place on 11 6 2015. And after the marriage, there's what the wife had came to the house of the of the husband and stayed for one day, and immediately left her parents' house. It is the case of the husband that the wife had not shown any interest or affection towards the husband, and the marriage is not consummated. Within a few days, the husband searched a rented house and inform the respondent to join the company of the husband. <coughs> the respond the wife and her uh, parents put forth unnecessary conditions that the aged mother of the husband should not be with, the with them. And the relatives of the husband should not come to the rented premises. So on and so forth as a condition to join the matrimonial home. If the respondent, the wife had not joined and whenever he approaches the wife by going to her parents' house, she has not expressed any kind of interest in him and not allowing him to come, come near to her. The husband had made all his best efforts. It is his case that the wife is calling him during his uh, office hours and abusing for the unknown reasons. It is stated that on 1 11, 2015, there was mediation held at JP Nagar 
the relative space of the husband where the parents and the wife the wife and the parents agree to send her to the house of the petition the house of the husband and it was also decided to perform the nuptials on 2011-2015. A condition that the, the a condition they the they impose a condition that the relatives of the husband should not be attend the function. And a small function was held on 2011-2015. According to him, there was no uh, the the marriage could, could not be consummated. It is also stated that on 5 12, 2015 he had taken to taken her to a pilot gynecologist, Dr. Lata, at Pragati Clinic, which is situated at uh, Chikkala Sandra, Bangalore, for consultation. And even them all, even uh, she has also not permitted the doctor to test her and make a preliminary inquiry. The doctor expressed that some counseling is necessary and detailed examination is required from the reputed doctors to test the maturity or otherwise health condition of the wife. It is also the case of the husband that the wife had developed a kind of insecure feelings and has become very suspicious and tried to test the patience of the husband in different ways. She was uh, talking a lot about the character of the husband, defaming his self-respect. On 22-12-2015, the respondent and her parents came to the house of the, the the wife along with her parents came to the house of the petitioner and started quarreling with him for unknown reasons. And the father of the wife also threatened him with uh, dire consequences. Uh, on the day the petitioner went to his house and found the same, his lock and the wife had taken away all the household items, gold, rings, silk, saris and other items to her parents' house. It is stated that on these grounds, as uh, there was no other alternative, he had issued a notice on 26 12 2015 calling upon the wife to give consent for dissolving the marriage. After uh, receiving the notice, she lodged a complaint on 1 1 2016. And uh, he has come up with the present petition. Taking to declare the marriage as nullity. The wife had filed her uh, her objections to this petition and she has denied the allegations. And according to the wife, the marriage is consummated. It is stated that the husband had uh, forcibly by misleading and manhandling the wife without any intimation to her parents or to anyone, had taken the had taken to the to Dr. Lata. but who is not a gynecologist, but is just a physician without any specialization. And the doctor tried to make physical examination. He is vicious of the wife as regards to her bodily composition and her femininity. And the said doctor forcibly conducted the examination and declared that the wife is hale and healthy and has no health issues. 
and her femininity and bodily composition is normal as like any other woman and the said doctor had never prescribed any medicine or counseling or further examination in view of the same it demonstrates the statistic nature and character of the husband and along with that she has filed she has taken a stand about the consummation of the marriage and that the petition has to be dismissed the this application that is i number 4 is filed which is the date of the application 24 11 2016 on 24 11 2016 i number 4 is filed seeking a direction to the respondent to appear before the competent doctor or pulmonologist for medical examination about a physical psychological cap capability in consummation of marriage and furnish the report to the court the trial court by order impugned had dismissed the application the court by dismissing the application had observed that the court had relied on a judgment of this court in dragama versus shantapa and observe that in a case where a party alleges that a person is impotent or suffering from other such incurable disease it is for a person making such an allegation to prove the same a party cannot be compelled to undergo medical examination it is also observed that there is no provision in the hindu marriage act or the rules framed there and all or in the code of civil procedure or in the evidence act or any other law which will show any person in the court to compel any party to undergo medical examination and the court had also considered the judgment of the high court of andhra pradesh in case of pulavathi sri ram murthy versus lakshmi kantamma and relying on these judgments the court observed that the marriage of the petition the uh, the marriage is solemnized on 10 6 and according to the petition a nuptial ceremony was arranged in the month of november and at para number 8 uh, the uh, office of pleadings had taken contention that during uh, her stay during the stay of the wife in his residence on 5 12 2015 years taken to the gynecologist he had not produced any document to that effect to show that whether there any advice is given to the respondent dr lata is gynecologist petty and the wife her husband himself had taken the wife to the hospital therefore question of issuance of direction to the wife for medical examination did not arise when the when the husband has approached the court seeking to uh, seeking a uh, the declaration that the marriage is analogy he has to prove the facts therefore without evidence of for both the parties application filed by the husband is not maintainable and accordingly dismiss the application agreed thereby the present appeal is filed land council for the uh, petitioner submits that <clears throat> the marriage could not be consummated as the wife is impotent he has no other way to prove the case except sending the wife for medical examination unless and until she uh, the medical exam the, she is examined and a report is placed before the court it is difficult for the husband to prove his case and the trial court without considering all these aspects had dismissed the petition he had relied on the judgment of the apex court in case of sharada versus as uh, sharada versus uh, dharmpal uh, reported in 2003 for scc 493 he relied on para number 76 78 and 79 which reads thus extract all this paragraph he had also relied on the other judgments of uh, the other high courts high courts which are uh, which were passed taking into consideration 
the law laid down by the Apex Court in Sharda versus Dharampal's case, relying on the said judgment, he submits that that the finding of the court is not is contrary to the certain law, and uh, sending her to a medical examination is not a violative of the violative of Article Twenty One of the Constitution of India, and court had failed to appreciate the contentions put forth and the legal position. And as uh, and as established by the Honorable Apex Court, that's it. Please, sir. One day, one one more submission, Malad. Whatever the judgment, Malad, relied upon by the trial court. Is Malad uh, in the Dharmapal's case, Malad, everything is discussed. Submit, sir. And Malad, it is the judgment reversed. that are relied on by the trial court are all considered by the Apex Court in uh, in uh, Sharda versus Dharmapal's case, and uh, the court ought to have considered the said judgment. Next, learned counsel appearing for the respondent by submit that the marriage had taken place on uh, taken place on 11-6-2015 and the nuptial ceremony was held on 20-11-2015 and the marriage is consummated. When a notice was issued on 26-12-2015, they have issued a, a reply notice on 7-1-2016. Even before the reply is sent, they have filed the petition on 4 1 2016. It is a case of the husband that it is a case of the, the it is a case of the wife that the husband wanted a divorce and as they cannot move an application for the divorce uh, before one year from the date of marriage, uh, he has come up with this application. The land council submits that. That when when the when according to the husband he had taken the wife to a doctor by name Lata a gynecologist and uh, the wife has been subjected to the examination. In the evidence he could uh, examine the said doctor, or uh, and he can also place before the court the report of the said doctor as even the wife is admitting in her pleadings that uh, the husband had taken her to the doctor. Land Council submits that without uh, without making any effort or without even discharging the burden on him, he cannot file an application straight away for uh, uh, subjecting the respondent to the medical examination. It is submitted that the judgment of the Apex Court, which he is relying on in Sharda versus Dharampal, in fact, supports the case of the wife and, uh, and and the trial court had rightly dismissed the petition and no grounds are made out seeking interference with the well-considered order passed by the trial court. Next paragraph. And with other counsels on either side, there is a material on record. The husband, the marriage had taken place on 11-6-2015 and he had filed the application, that is the present MC petition, on 4-1-2016. According to the husband, the marriage is not consummated as the wife is important. He has made all his efforts and it is also his case that he has taken the wife to a gynecologist by name Lata. Even the same was uh, accepted and affirmed by the wife in her objections stating that she has been taken to the doctor and according to her, the doctor had uh, uh, after examination has felt that by all means the wife is normal. The the husband had not adduced any other evidence, the evidence of any the family members or the relatives, or he is also referring in his uh, petition about the mediation that is done. Now, uh, unless and until he makes out a a prime of essay case wherein with the with the with the available evidence that uh, because the, that the wife is reluctant and in that regard the mediations were also done and uh, ha having no other go he had to come before the court with an application with this petition seeking nullity of the marriage straight away he cannot come up with an application stating that the wife has to be subjected to the medical examination. The Honorable Apex Court in Sharada versus Dharampal's case
had considered the 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 rights of a, a party and uh, their right to privacy under article 21 and also uh, the court uh, uh, the 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 right to uh, right to privacy as enshrined under Article Twenty One of the Constitution, and also and uh, and how it has to be balanced uh, with the right to a per right of a person to defend himself himself the court had uh, observed that when there is no right to privacy specifically conferred by Article 21 of the Constitution of India and with the extensive interpretation of the phrase personal liberty, this right has been read into Article 21. It cannot be retained as an absolute right. What is emphasized is that some limitation on this right have to be imposed, and particularly where two compelling interests clash in matters of the uh, aforesaid nature, where the legislature has conferred a right upon his spouse to seek divorce on such grounds, it would be the right of the, that spouse, which comes in conflict with the so-called right to privacy of, the, uh, of one party. There, the apex court has felt that there should be a a balance between a right to privacy and at the same time, the right of the other person to be adequately uh, defend himself. Then when, while, while laying such a ratio, the Apex Court was also, was, has also categorically observed that, that there, in those cases, the court shall not order for a roving inquiry it must have sufficient material before it to enable it to exercise its discretion. And such discretion would be subject to the supervisory jurisdiction of the High Court in terms of Section 115 and of Article 227 of the Constitution of India. Abuse of the discretionary power at the hands of the court is not ex expected. The court must arrive at a finding that the applicant has established a strong prime of essay case before passing such an order. For applying the ratio laid down in Honorable Epic and then the judgment of the Epic Court in Sharda's case, the first and the foremost is the party who seeks such a relief should make out the prima facie case. In this case, what all, yes, 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 uh, it is, uh, you know, it appears that it's a case of the petitioner that whatever the averments that uh, are that, that stated in the petition is a prima facie case. The, in, the, in, the, in those averments itself, we have stated about uh, the, the, the mediation that had uh, taken place. He taking the wife to a doctor. He should put forth his case that, that the, by, by, by choosing necessary evidence that I'm under, he should make out a, a prime of a sick case in that. And, and in those circumstances, still, if the medical examination is required, and if the court comes to the conclusion that unless and until a medical examination is conducted, the, the petitioner husband would not be able to prove his case. And having satisfied that there is a prime of a sick case, then at that stage, the, the, uh, the uh, either an, an, uh, the application or the request that is made by the petitioner for examination can be considered, but it cannot be at a threshold without even adducing any evidence or without even making a, a prima facie case, uh, prima facie case, a strong prima facie case, where the court will be compelled to ask the respondent to subject herself to the examination in the considered opinion of this court. The, the, the stage at which the application is filed by the husband is not appropriate. And uh, in the, and as on the, uh, while, and he could not make out a, a prima, uh, a strong prima facie case, compass, which can compel the court to pass an order subjecting the respondent to medical examination in that view of the matter. 
this court finds no reason to interfere. But, however, the liberty is given to the petitioner to uh, to file such an application at an appropriate uh, stage. Mm -hmm.